Hi guys, welcome to a very special stream, another very special stream, of course, all of my streams are very special streams, especially when you're here, or in the future, watching this. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we do have something super, super exciting to start today, I am super thrilled, I've been like anxious to start this stream all day. Uh, I'm not going to start just yet, I'm going to wait like maybe 5-10 minutes to let people start trickling in uh, and get the message because I think this will be so much funner with uh, anybody who wants to join us in the chat because we're playing uh, Downfall. In fact, let me show it to you. Let me show you the Steam page for it right now. So here, take a look at this. Uh, Downfall. So this is by the creators of uh, The Cat Lady, and I've heard a lot of things saying that this m is, like, s to some people considered an unofficial pe prequel, because some of the characters in here are, um, ooh, let's look at this full screen shit, yeah. <laughs> this is my kind of game! Oh man! I am so excited! Uh, it looks just like the Cat Lady. Like, style and coloring, and it's... Oh, I'm, 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 so, I'm so excited. Okay, so anyway, um, is that lady behind him dead? Nope, nope, we're not going to start in on it. Don't start in on it, Rose. We're not starting in on it yet. Okay, anyways... Uh, I think some of the characters from this game are referenced or even appear in the Cat Lady, which I would have completely missed not having ever played this game before. Let's go ahead and switch this. Ooh, spooky, atmospheric. Oh, look at the barbed wire branches and thorny shed and... Wow, okay, interesting. I'll look at it. Oh, yes! Yes, this is what I love. Give it to me. Yeah, I love this dark atmospheric stuff. It's just it like it it feels so artistic and dramatic to me. So, um we're going to do this very similar or I hope very similar. It's been several years that I did uh the cat lady. Um where I'm going to be talking about things that are going on in the environment, things that were added by the developers and what their what their purpose is in the game. So, um, as I've said probably many times before, every, every piece, every detail in the game was placed there by the developer for an effect. Um, and we can talk about some of the ones that seem significant to um, creating the atmosphere that it does. So, we're going to do that, but not yet. Uh, like I said, we're going to give it like maybe 10 minutes. Well, probably about like 3 minutes. No, uh, like seven minutes now. So let's just go through these real quick. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Ooh. Well, that's kind of nice. And, hmm. Oh, mouths, multiple mouths. Nope, nope. Don't start it. Don't you start, Rose. Don't you start before the game. All right. Well, that's all 12 screenshots. So, uh,. All right, well, go back to uh, enjoying my lovely, super non-tech-savvy uh, place card. Because when you do not have knowledge, when you are not educated, and when you're completely clueless, you use ingenuity. So basically, in paint, I made this thing, and then now we're just going to throw it up on... Uh <laughs> we're going to throw it up on uh, Slideshow, because that's the, the only thing that I could figure out. I'm super old school, and I only ever learned paint because paint was the only thing like this that was out when I was younger, and... Wait, what happened to my slideshow? There you go. Don't you fuck with my slideshow. Anyway, uh, gonna give it another couple of minutes, get settled in, grab yourself something to drink, or a cup of coffee. I have some coffee here as well. And we're just gonna chill for a bit. I suck at making coffee. I don't know why. Uh, it's it's absolutely pouring in sheets out here in uh, my part of Southern California, which is super, super uncommon. Like, it's not even that long ago where we would have years that we did not get any rainfall. 
during the fall or winter where we got none and uh, we've been getting some we've been getting a lot this winter and that means that we're gonna have oh everything's gonna be so green instead of that like really really depressing dull dead looking brown because the sun is practically on top of where I live during the summertime it gets to like 115 degrees it's freaking ridiculous so it burns all of that beautiful like green plant uh, what do you call it foliage and stuff um, any anything green here turns dead and brown probably eh, in spring and that just makes just the best kindling for all of our forest fires when our state erupts into flames every summer now every summer now if you're watching this on demand through YouTube or on uh, the twitch videos feel free to skip ahead if you don't care about this bollocks It has been genuinely just a guy, 40. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I saying? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like, what just happened was what I was going to talk about. Right, right, right. I've been having a, just an absolute ADD day so far. It's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I cannot emphasize to you how ridiculous it is. Like, I was sitting here at my computer and I was thinking uh, it had something to do with water. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got up to make some coffee. It took me like 40 minutes to make coffee. You know why? Because I... I kept getting distracted like I cannot think I cannot think about anything other than what I'm doing at the moment otherwise I will forget what I'm doing in that moment so anyways I was in the in the kitchen uh, trying to make some coffee and I couldn't find my uh, oh I picked up the cup right I picked up the cup and I was like, this is not my uh, water pitcher that I use to pour the water into the, the coffee machine. And I said, where's my bigger one? So I start walking around the house with the pitcher in my hand. And uh, I get into my bedroom and it's next to my, sn my snake. Because I, I had just recently filled my snake pool with, uh, um, with water. So, because she loves to bathe in that water. She's giant. Um, and anyways, I see I see the larger pitcher. So I pick up the larger pitcher and I'm heading back into the front room and I completely forgot I had the pitcher in my hand and I walk um, and I think to myself, man, I'm really tired. Um, I, I need some coffee, but I think I need some vitamin B too. So I walk over to my front door and once, I s once I'm there at my front door, Isaac Martin, hey, happy birthday. Or happy birthday, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's better. Uh, I'm standing at my front door, and I'm wondering why am I at my front door? Like, is the door locked? Was there something I needed here? Uh, and then I think, oh wait, I walk to my front door because I usually hang my purse, which has the vitamin B, next to my door. Uh, yeah, ne on a hook next to the door, but it's not there right now. So I go, where's my purse? I got to start looking for my purse to find my vitamin B so that I can have a little bit more energy. So in the process of looking in a few places, I set down the pitcher of water I was going to use to make the coffee. And I find my, um, I find my purse, I take a vitamin B, and then I sit back down at my computer. And then just like, I, I, this <laughs> it just happens all the time. Uh, and so what happened is uh, then I think, oh, hey, I forgot to make my coffee. So I get up, I go to the kitchen, I go to my coffee maker, and I think, hey, where's my water cup to add the water to the coffee machine? What I didn't, what, see, what I didn't remember was that I went looking for my, I had one in my hand, I went looking for the other one, I found it, I set the other one down somewhere, 
uh, and then I picked that one up, I wandered around the house a little bit, and then I set that one down somewhere, and now I had no water pitchers to make my coffee. It took me, oh my god, my life. It's been this. Sin! Sin is here! The one and only, the sin of science! Yeah, happy happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So, um, I have the day off. It's just a normal day off for me. Boyfriend's at work, and uh, oh my god, we're going to start the stream because it's been 10 minutes. Now that a coffee production, now that's a coffee production if I ever heard one. Yeah, dude, like that is everything. That's everything that I've been doing um, so far this morning. There was something else that I got up to do, got distracted, um, oh, one of the things that I did while, like, before I started looking for my vitamin B was st I just stood outside at the, at the window at my sliding glass door leading to my balcony, and I was looking at the rain, and I was listening to it, and I had the, the door slid open so I could feel the cool breeze, and then I kind of just became aware of myself and was like, what am I doing? What? Wait, what was I doing? So, oh shit, just a guy is graduating tomorrow. What are you graduating from? What are you graduating from, just a guy? Woohoo! Oh, and some um, really really cool exciting news uh i am ac i actually like what what is what do you even call that uh became eligible for uh the twitch affiliation uh like two weeks ago and i finally just set it up uh i was really surprised and it's super cool so now you have the ability to subscribe if you are so inclined and that would be very appreciated if not hey do your thing you you do you boo just a guy you got to tell me where you're graduating from the stream the stream is waiting with bated breath to hear what you're graduating from i don't think i can move on with anything in my life until i know we're going to wait still waiting just guy not only is this current stream waiting for you everybody in the VOD everybody in YouTube watching this video right now everybody everybody that will ever see this video just a guy everybody that will ever see this video is waiting to hear about this amazing accomplishment of your life in the meantime, since the science says huzzah, I assume, to uh, the uh, Twitch affiliation, I'm inclined to support you through subscription, but I don't have to wait till March as I must finish paying off my TV and you to play. Dude, totally good. Totally good, Sin. You're a good guy. You take care of you first. Oh, come on. I'm really excited to play this game, and I just can't do it. Just a guy! Graduating as a programmer! But but don't the official English term? Oh, but he doesn't know the official English term. Okay, so just the guy is like a... He's he's vi visiting us from like a, f a foreign language country, I assume. But uh, that's amazing! That's a huge accomplishment! Congrats! All right. You guys have been waiting for it. It's happening. We're going to start Downfall. Where is it? Where is it in my life? Where is it on my computer? Where is it in my heart? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Balls. Oh, pfft, right there. Okay. Let's see if I can do this switch from uh, camera captures uh, without deafening you because it was really shit last time. Or when I, when I attempted to see what would downfall. Here we go. All right. Now scoot you over here. Now let's open this up. 
No. No, I need... Get out of my way! Oh shit, that's what I was trying to avoid. Alright. We're good, we're good! Ah, oh, fuck, are we? Maybe. Okay, so this is the starting screen, and now that I'm at the starting screen, I can rearrange my stuff now. I'm gonna do that, move that there. I'm moving stuff from uh, my, my multiple sc screens. Just the guy says, sorry, it's like you said, English isn't my first language. It's all good. We're proud of you. I'm proud of you. The chat's proud of you. You did, you done well. Okay, while this um, loading sc or while this main screen is up, I'll go ahead and read to you now the synopsis. Synopsis, not the synopsis. That would suck. That'd be a horrible way to stream this game. The description of this game. So, um, yeah, let's. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's closing. Oh fuck! Okay. Anyway, about this game. There is nothing Joe wouldn't do for his wife, but as they try to save their marriage with a romantic getaway, things go from bad to worse, and from worse to insanity. In this tale of love, madness, and murder, Joe will prove what kind of man he is, but what kind of man is he exactly? A loving husband? A cold realist? A bitter skeptic? That is something you, we, will decide, as you join him on his journey for redemption. From the creator of The Cat Lady, a dark and atmospheric horror adventure with full English voice acting, with an original soundtrack by Mick Amick and many featured artists. All right! If I wasn't the most pumped up I could ever be yet, I am now the most pumped up. So, the game's gonna crash now. <clears throat> the game's gonna crash now, watch. Oh, shit. Hmm. But I'm going to have it back up and I'm going to stop clicking away from it. I need to not. This is an older game, so. Hang tight for me, please. I have a uh, Adventure Game Studio error. And it basically just doesn't like that I've been. Oh, shit. Don't make me task manage you. Hemimorphite! Hey! How are you, Hemimorphite? Oh, come on, don't make me task manage you. Aw, oh, shit, my task manager is hidden behind the game! Oh, there we go. Thank you. Alright, we're not gonna tab out ever again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Cat Lady, I remember your playthrough of that. Ah, oh, thank you! Thank you, God! I'm so glad that there are people around who watched my Cat Lady. Let's play. Because uh, that may have been my favorite Let's Play I ever did. It was really awesome. Okay, we're going to start this thing. Oh gosh, you see that little Steam community glitch? We ain't skipping shit. So what do you think, Joe? I think... So glad this is totally voiced. Bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God true. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. <laughs> gangster, my ass. Nice, Sin. He works in the second hand Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck. Use the arrow keys to move. Oh, I think we used arrow keys last time, too. Alright. Should we go check on, uh... 
our little little guy friend, younger friend here first or uh no, you know what? No. He's stupid. He's a stupid kid that knows nothing, you know? He's so dumb. What what's he believing in? Some dumb rumor. God, what's he looking for? Like buried treasure? So dumb, man. Kids are so dumb. That's that's us right now. Oh, I love this. Look at this. This bright red just standing out. Everything is just kind of like a a muted like yellowish and just you have that red fire hydrant that bam brings you into the scene. Hey, it's the little girl with something? A rabbit? Maybe? Auto saving. Coffee, teacup, coffee. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna try to tab out. I don't wanna try to mess with this whatsoever because I don't want it to I don't want the game to crash again. Use up arrows to interact. Oh, I remember this. Scroll option scroll options with up and down arrows select with enter. Look. Oh, he looks like a sad little girl. She's got like kind of messy hair and Maybe like a little bit of a messy dress. Is she like homeless or something? Is she just maybe like from a poor family? Wow, she's pretty. Wow, she's pretty. Uh, okay, what do we want to say to her? Hi, nice day, eh? What's it like to be the prettiest girl in town? If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. <laughs> that is not something a kid his age would say. What the hell? That's like... That's a little, that's a little bit of a creepy amount of um, commitment from like a, a kid his age, which is maybe like what, help me out here, I'm bad at aging people, like 12, 13. Uh, let's just say hi. That's, that's a, that's a, hi. That's a great introduction. That's it. Uh, what? So now we have to pick with an, uh, I, I want to see what happens here. I. <laughs> Why? Vitamin E. It's good for memory. Vitamin E. Ah, uh, uh, vit vitamin. I love how they say that. Sin says, uh, "Oh man, this is borderline super seducer." All of a sudden, <laughs> right? Uh, let's just say, because these other two are like, you don't just walk up to somebody and start hitting on them. You know nothing about them. Let's just say, day. nice day. Oh. Did you say so? Is it really just counting down what I can say? I don't want to say either of these. These are dumb. Uh. What is it like being the prettiest girl in town? Oh, he said that's so creepy. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> that was so creepy. The way he said it. The way that was voice acted. And now I have to say this. This is... This is horrible. She should stand up and run the other I way. Was a cat. I'd spend all nine lives with you. Wow. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Mm, he, okay, are we going to play this like ourselves or are we Hmm. We're going to play this like Are we going to play this in ha What do you think? Guys, help me out. Are we going to play this as like like me? Or are we playing this as like how it seems like this guy is? He sounds like he's going to eat her face or something. <laughs> he does. He sounds like he's gonna like shave all her hair off and make it into a wig. Okay, now the chat should be working. The main, I mean the stream, the stream, okay. Was it not working? Was the stream not working? Uh, right now, let's just go as what Joe seems to be. No, that's just some silly story for kids. Maybe, or maybe not. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black, like a devil. Ark, oh god, Ark, you took it too far. <laughs> Ark goes, hey baby, wanna come over to MySpace so I can Twitter your Yahoo until you Google all over my Facebook. Oh man. You know, you can never, 
You know, you can have your head shaved and they make it into wigs for... Yeah, 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 I knew that. Yeah, you, they can, they make it into wigs for cancer patients. Oh, the stream was lagging for you? Because... Oh, all right, all right. Uh, what did... What did she say? She said she wanted a black cat? Oh, she, oh she's holding flowers. Nice flowers. Let's try to be nice yeah. to her, though, actually. Let's try to be nice to her. Reason. Why? Yeah, why? Reason. It's just like red. I do like red a lot. What are we looking at? He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you like ice cream? Sounds like it's bad for you. Uh. Do you live around here? You no. don't eat ice cream? Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Oh, because they're in somewhere in the I I, I don't know UKish English British UKish area. Okay, I'm an ignorant American. Forgive me. Where are you from? Uh, I know a place where cats go to die. Holy shit, <laughs> dude! I'm gonna I'm gonna totally start hitting on this chick that I just met. Who's sitting here? Who kind of's giving like little short answers, acting like she doesn't really want to be talked to? And then, then, and then to try to really pique her interest, I'm gonna tell her I know a place where cats go to die. Sin says, I find it interesting that she picked something about his pickup line to get deeper into, though. That's really perceptive of her. Yeah, I thought so too. That was that's pretty cool. I think I like this girl. Um, let's not where start. Where are you from? Sweden. Sweden. But you're not blonde. Oh my God. So. I just... never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job in the States. And your dad? He didn't. I know a place where cats go to die. Why are you sitting here? Sorry about your dad. Um, yeah, let's say sorry about Sorry that. about your dad. Don't be. He can fuck off. <laughs> oh, dang. You tell him, girl. Uh, yeah, why is she sitting here? She, I don't know what year this is supposed to take place in, or maybe, uh, maybe here in, w here and wherever they are is a lot safer than America, but, like, ten-year-old kids, well, maybe, I don't know, like, maybe eight-year-old kids, we don't just kind of let them explore the city on their own. Are you sitting here? Why are you sitting here? Oh, in certain, in certain <laughs> states, obviously. It's a large country. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. What? Okay. She's I'm not hungry. She's way too young to be on a diet. Holy shit. I know a place where Jeez, that's what girls like emo boys. <laughs> Do they? Do they though? I don't know about that arc. Uh oh my god, she said her mom is inside eating and her mom is totally okay that she sits outside and is not eating. I smell some uh, eating disorder uh, brewing. And I think it's the mom's I fault. Know the place where cats go to die. Oh, and she said yeah. my mom says it's ice cream's up. Down the road. Ice cream's bad for Cat me. Cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die. They're old and sick. It's really weird. I can show you. But you talk really weird, I dude. Probably wait for my mom. And he's just gonna like this is the only option about that cat place. Um. Yeah, so far it looks like I don't have any option. I don't actually have any options in dialogue. I just have to go through all of the dialogue options. <laughs> uh all the dialogue options but I get to choose the order. I'm not liking that. I hope it I hope it develops a little bit differently that I can have a little bit of control about that cat place. Yeah. Uh sorry, let's talk about something else. She'd be back in 5 minutes. Your mom will never know. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. Ha. Uh, there are some nice red flowers not far from here. Yeah, 
yeah. There are some nice red flowers. Yeah, screw your mom. There. But I don't even know you. Oh, that's true. She I'm makes Joe. a valid point. Okay. Okay, now it's you? now I know you. Hey, now it's fine. Ivy. Come on, Ivy. Ben, Ivy. You don't want to sit here. I love day. the name Ivy. Do Let's do something fun. <laughs> Voice acting's a little. Okay, can I go left okay. or right? I cannot. Oh, that was a really, really long pause. Okay, now I can walk. Let's go this way. Can I talk to her? No. So her mom is inside the diner eating and left her kid. I wonder if she. You don't even, you can't even, you can't even properly tell right now if the girl, like, wanted to stay outside because she has her own, like, eating disorder complex already. Quick save slots, one through four using F5, F1 through F4. Or if um, the mom actually told her, oh, honey, you really shouldn't be eating again so soon. Why don't you just wait outside? And then, like, she's, she just goes, okay, because she feels like shit. That's fucked up. Most parents, Sin says, uh, most parents would be the ones sacrificing meals to make. Exactly, exactly. Look at this girl. That's that's. Ah, flowers. See, she likes these flowers. She said she likes red flowers. We're gonna smell them. I don't want to look like a sissy. Hey, hey. Sissies are not the only ones who smell flowers. Okay, that's uh, that's messed up. Toxic masculinity. Do you like them? Oh, she I likes like them. Oh, Here, she loves them. Let me pick some for you. <gasps> no. That's sweet. Let them grow. Oh. They're beautiful. I can't eat. Girls. Or, you're right. It would be like killing them or something. Or, one flower won't make any difference. Well, uh, I think that. I don't know. There's like this guy sounds like kind of a douche already. I mean, he's all right, but he does sound like his options are kind of douchey. <laughs> let's just uh, let's respect her wishes. If she if she would rather us leave the flowers alone, and my grandma was just like You're that. Right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. What? A lovely little girl. What a lovely little girl. Like, she's so... She's so wise already. You can tell she doesn't think about herself first. Is he gonna smell them now? Oh, jeez. Get over yourself. Yeah, my grandmother loved flowers. And she had a lot of garden. Of, uh, of just flowers. Not vegetables or anything like that. And, uh, when I was really little... You try to emulate adults and like, oh, when you really love someone, you give somebody flowers. But see, what I would do is I would cut her flowers and then like give them to her. And she would always tell me, don't cut the flowers, don't cut the flowers. Um, because like, I like them being alive rather than being given to, to me. I thought that was sweet. Is this it? Just one cat? It's just one cat. And it's not even dead. Does he really have a heart of gold, though? It's too early to tell. Maybe. I guess no cats die today. This one looks very old. He'll probably die soon. I bet it's a zombie cat. <laughs> you know what I think? I think being playful is a good way to go. I bet it's a zombie cat. Yeah! <laughs> I don't believe that cats have nine lives, but you believe in zombie cats. The saying, zombie cats are real. The giant ones are the worst. <laughs> yeah? Do they eat brains? See, this you is bet. the way they should be having a conversation. Don't be silly. All cats are great, but you don't really like cats, do you? See, I don't know, actually. I don't know that. I'm hoping he does like cats. I don't want to say not that much. This may be like him, li if I say I was just fooling with you, of course I like cats, that might be lying to try to make her like him more, but I'm hoping that it's the truth. I was just fooling with you, of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go see if he likes us. Don't let 
I bite you. You'll turn. <laughs> Aw, the kitty likes her. Meow. You're such a lovely pussy cat. You're so lovely. My turn. Uh, huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it gave control back to me. All right. Cat. Examine. But what if it is a zombie cat? Right. Let's give him little pets. Let's give the kitty little pets. See? He likes you too. Yay! He likes us! Wow. Cats never really let me touch them. Aww. It's nice, isn't it? It makes you... It makes you fall in love. Aww. She's so sweet. Oh my god. I can just... I can just, like, feel the hunger for the starvation for love in her. It's sad. She seems like such a sad little girl. Don't be stupid! What a ridiculous thing! That's really mean to say. Uh, <laughs> K Sims LK, our local moderator, says they should see if cats are immune to baseball bats. Oh gosh, the dark humor. Ignore him, chat. Not cool. <laughs> Ark! <laughs> Ark, you're like, dude. <laughs> It's weird for me, uh, Sin says, it's weird for me that black cats have such trouble getting adopted from shelters. They're so beautiful. Granted, I don't have any myself, but that's only because there were none at the shelter when I got mine. I did have a black cat, and, um, he didn't, uh, he didn't survive all that long. It was really sad, but I, uh, I adopted him from, I, I kind of rescued him myself. Like, I was working at a place where this box full of cats, like six kittens, were, uh, was it six? Might have been more. Uh, kittens were dropped off in a cardboard box in front of the store. And uh, they were going to be sent straight to the pound. The pound shelter, whatever. And uh, so I actually adopted three of them. I just took them home. And one of them was black. Uh, his name was Jazz. And then I had a, uh, uh, like a, uh, what was he? Sa Wait, what was he? Jack? Jack was... I, I had another cat that was Jack, and then I had um, an orange cat that was a uh, pumpkin, and then I had... Uh, th wait, Jack, Jazz... I d okay, I adopted four. Jack, Jazz, um, Lacey, and... There was one more. I don't remember. Anyway... Black cats aren't photogenic it's enough. Grady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Yeah, let's get some ice cream. Oh yeah, but she's like, oh no, my my mom says that ice cream is bad for you. Jeez, putting those thoughts into such a young girl's head—that's that's messed up. It was, yeah, it was really hard when I lost Jazz. Um, he was probably only like three years old. Examine. Brady's such a nice guy. He's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream! He wasn't, hey, he right. wasn't with me at the hey, time. Hey, little buddy. Jazz. What can I do you for? Two scoops of chocolate, please. A lolly ice, uh, a strawberry ice lolly, please. A raspberry ripple, please. A coconut comb, please. Vanilla, please. Mint chocolate chip, please. Oh, holy shit. We got tons of... Lolly? Lolly. What's a lolly? Is it a lollipop? Uh, let's go with my favorite uh, out of all of these. Probably out of all three of these, I, I do really like chocolate. Raspberries. Kicking. Let's get raspberry. A raspberry ripple, please. A raspberry ripple coming up. I get for your little lady yeah, what friend? are we getting her? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Oh, but <sighs> she'll have same as me. It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. Um, see, here's where I'm just like, don't you need to you need to listen to people's wishes, you know? So. Let's try to persuade her instead of forcing it on her by saying, why not? Why not? Because... No. Just... No. And then again, like, 
It's like, she'll have same as me. It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. Don't you like ice cream? Um, yeah. Don't you like Respect ice cream? other people. I do. But oh, you do like it. I guess the least forceful is... Yeah, I don't like any of these, but I guess if he's going to really insist... It's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but... I can't. Mm. What? I have to? No, I don't agree with this. Like... I don't know. Like, this is this is very disrespectful. I mean, she said no. No means no every time. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm taking it a little bit too far, but, like, I don't... I just think it's very disrespectful. And when somebody says no to something and you keep pushing them, it doesn't matter what the subject is. She says she doesn't want chocolate. Like, don't stick your nose in there. Um, sh I guess. She whatever. The same as me. I said no. And no means no. Right, girl? Ivy. Yep. You got it, girl. No means no. You were out of line there, kid. I don't... Oh, Joe! He said his name was Joe. Joe, you were out of line. <laughs> Ark says, I do not... Uh, I do know how to say lactose intolerant. <laughs> well... Aw, uh, don't force ice cream on someone who doesn't want it, right? Gosh. Alright, we're gonna go back after her, and we're gonna apologize. I hope we're gonna apologize. So far, I'm not terribly impressed with this character, but maybe I'm being too harsh because he is very young. He's still a child. Uh, I gotta catch up with the chat real quick. Ah! Ark says, I just recently lost my dog. It's been, oh, I'm so sorry. It's been almost a month, and I still can't believe she's gone. When I brought the wooden box that held her ashes home, I fell asleep clinging to it. She and I used to share a bed, so yeah. Uh, she sh she could be lac lactose in toddlerant. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that, Ark. I'm really close to my cats, and one of them that I've had the longest, uh, I she sleeps with me every night. She's the most cuddly, affectionate cat that I've ever came across ever. Um, she know she comes when I call her. Like she knows her name. She's like. I don't know. And I, I I would be just devastated if anything happened to her. Uh, Sin says, yeah, it's really hard. It leaves a void in your heart when, you're fa when a family member pr passes on. Fill that void with all the love and happy memories you share so that when you think of her, it'll be a source of strength instead of pain. Oh, Sin, you are wise beyond your years. But then again, I don't know how old you are, so you may be wise as, like, appropriate to your years, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna- Oh, good! I can say I'm sorry! What's wrong with you? What? You should have said you don't like ice cream. But she didn't say she doesn't like ice cream. What's wrong with you, Joe? I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I- What? I deserve to be done. See? And she- Now she's blaming herself! Oh my god, we've got so- We got some red flag- Red flag here, red flag there, red flags everywhere. That there's- no, th she is not in a good household environment. Holy shit. So now she's blaming herself for getting upset when somebody pushes her boundaries? Holy fuck. This is... It's okay. Are we good? Let's just forget about it. Uh... It's okay. Jesus. Are we good? Ivy is coming across as one abused little girl, says Sin. I found it. Really? Found... Yes. It's right where he said it was. I don't know if he said we was looking but for a crap. I kind of need your help. What? Stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden under this building site. A suitcase of money? He's my little brother. Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. Um, okay, this this might be kind of fun because they were arguing back and forth and Joe was like, "Oh, you're so dumb and you you're you're dumb cuz you believe in this thing and you know, he's my little brother." Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. It sounds like a typical it's there. interaction. It's drugs money. <laughs> and it's just sitting there. Waiting. Oh us. my gosh. Wow. Really? Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. You don't believe him? Do you? Who knows? 
Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back to uh, when Sin says she's coming across as one abused little girl. She really is. It's super sad, even just seeing like this. But uh, when she... When... When a person starts apologizing for something that they did reasonably, like their boundaries being pushed, is that part of like the result of being gaslit? Like if uh, if she's been subjected to gaslighting, will that make her have a tendency to blame herself when arguments happen, even though she's in the right? Anybody know? Like, I know gaslighting has a lot to do with uh, uh, trying to manipulate the other person by saying, no, that's not how it happened, you're remembering it wrong, I didn't do that, um, there's something wrong with you, and, and that kind of basically... Yeah, well, it kind of would be... It kind of would be also including things like, it's your fault, not mine, even when it is the other person's fault. That is part of gaslighting, right? This kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. How did you even get in there? This kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. But it's there. I can show you. There's a hole in the fence. Just follow me. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Okay, if she wants to. <laughs> it's not safe for you, Ivy? Just wait here? Oh, that's... I don't like that. Okay, lead the way, bro. Yay. So you're like, just because she's just a girl, remember, she can't come with us? It's a building site. I don't want you to touch anything. I won't. Okay. Uh, Sin says... Oh, no. Just the guy. Just the guy's weighing in here. Just the guy. Recent programmer graduate says, could also be that her mother is poor and blames her daughter for it. Sin says, not gaslighting, but probably a kind of grooming by an abuser. Abusers will, bl abusers will blame their it's victims there. for... Where? This way. We'll catch up in a minute. Uh... I'm really interested in psychology. Love psychology. Uh, abusers will blame their victims for pushing their buttons. Many victims blame themselves, too. Uh, if I just shut up, he wouldn't hit me and so forth. Gaslighting is more about manipulation and lying to get someone to do what you want. Ark says, my only experience with these abuser things is what I've seen from Law & Order SVU. Uh, gaslighting, I know, is not ne not necessarily to get them to do what you want, but, well, okay, no, you're right, I'm sorry, I was, I was gonna say, like, as a means of control, but, yes, not necessarily to do an action, but to be basically, yes. see the big X? to basically always listen to you, be dependent on you, right, start doubting their own judgment, doubting, thinking that, making the victim feel like they're crazy, uh, or something's something's wrong with them mentally or psychologically that they're not remembering things right, even though they really are. The abuser is just um, trying to control the narrative of the situation. You never said we were looking for a pirate treasure. X marks the spot. Maybe you were right after all. This could mean anything. Uh... Well, not pirate treasure. He says it's drug money. Let's be nice. X marks the spot. Maybe you were right after all. Of course I was right. It's there. I want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. So this seems like a little, like, kind of a rundown area, but then I can't, I can't be entirely sure because this is in a different country from me. I don't know where it is, but usually we don't have, like, really large, involved, heavy construction zones right in a residential area. It's not this easy to get into them. They try to make it very hard, but only, only in modern days. Um... Looks too heavy to move by hand. Only in modern days, I know, when I was a kid, probably around that time, it was easier to get into uh, construction sites because they didn't protect them as much. Kids would play in construction sites, and then that's why they did buckle down on security more. need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find <laughs> Whatever country it is, a child should not be able to lift a concrete slab, said Ark. Oh, wait, we need a lever? Is that what he said? 
Too heavy to push. We'll need to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I get out of here? Get out of here. Lever. Let's find a lever. Ivy. She got some flowers. Wait. If she doesn't like people to pick flowers, why is she holding white flowers? Where did she get them? Did she pick hey, them? I think I found what we yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it right now. It's right here. It's an iron bar. Don't think it would be so... Didn't think it would be so easy. Are you kidding? This is the game. Use down arrow to open inventory scroll with left and right arrow. Select with enter. Exit with up arrow. <gasps> Wait, I need a sip of my coffee, guys. Sins of Science, you can find levers in Metroid games. I've never played Metroid. Mm, sad. I missed the joke. <laughs> yeah, gaslighting is a term that I just heard. I just found out about maybe like three years ago. And I was really, uh, really interested because... It's too heavy to push with me. Hold on. Use down arrow to open. I'm using down arrow. Scroll with left and right. Oh, down. Aha! Okay. Uh, because it found, it found, I found it really interesting that people, people's minds are being able to be manipulated when they have the quote proof of their uh, proof of their own eyes, right? Like, like they were there. They saw what happened. <laughs> okay Sid. they were there and they saw what happened they were you know like clearly they remember and then just by the other person saying no 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 it didn't happen that way you're remembering it wrong and and it works god damn it all right a am i close enough now there and it works it's amazing. It's crazy. Like, they have the proof of their eyes, oh, and then somebody... Shit. Oh, fuck. Those are grenades. What is it? Step away. Both of you. It's grenades. Oh, a shit. Great bowl of freaking grenades. Yeah, cover back up. But where's the money? Oh, my there God. There is no money. <laughs> I bet there never was. Oh, my God. You don't care. This. Maybe they already dropped off the grenades and it? took the know. money. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yes. Yeah, but first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Oh, you gotta cover it back up. Dude, you gotta cover it back up first. Shit. Uh, yeah, that stuff is really interesting, but can get really dark and depressing. Yeah, yeah, it can get really dark and depressing, but that's the thing that I really loved on, about Rob. the cat lady, is because... They were not afraid to, to delve into dark and depressing no. subjects. What? I'm your older brother. You have to listen to me. I said, come here right now. I'm your older brother. Pulling. You have to listen to me. Pulling the elder brother card. Just try and stop me. What are you doing, you little shit? You know what? What? Robbie, don't even think about it. What's he doing? Sure. It's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? I'm going what? to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. <sighs> oh my god, what sh what can I say to talk to... to called Gaslight. Anyways, no. At, uh, uh, situation at hand. Please don't do this to me, Ro Robbie. Leave it alone, you dipshit. I'll never forgive you for this. But saying something serious, like I'll never forgive you for this, would that really work between the kind of relationship that they have with each other? Like, will getting serious make him serious? Or is he the kind that if you, if you kind of just forcefully yell at him, he'll go, okay, okay. Uh, he's- I don't think he's gonna listen. He's being too stubborn for you to ask him. Shit. Maybe at this age... At this age, maybe... Be 
leave it alone, you dipshit. Something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen! If we can. No! Oh. Fuck, dudes. Beg him? I don't think it would have mattered, actually. I don't think it would have mattered at all. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Ravi, and neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out, and the cracks started to show. Oh god, we're gonna find out what kind of person but I, I knew up to be. how to fix it. What? 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 I wasn't expecting that either. Um, oh my god, you know, I was cut- I was thinking the same exact thing as uh, Sin. Sin said, holy shit, I was about to say at least they had the good taste not to show it. Oh my god, they cut away and then they cut back and that's when it really hit you. It's like, oh shit, man. It's like you just barely miss something like like happening, like, like I don't know, a car crash or something or like, s like slamming face first into a wall or something. You, you catch yourself or like you're about to fall and you're like swinging your arms and like you catch yourself and you go phew and then somebody comes over and shoves you off the end oh my god oh man that was like that really hit me because it was just a kid a second ago and for those of you out there who are saying like oh it's just a game like you're being really stupid you're such a pussy or like why are you acting like this? It's because I get really involved and invested in these games, and I think that that's, like, like lucky for me. Like, it's good that I do, because I get more out of games, but by the same token, when these bad things happen, got super, super, super invested in Heavy Rain. Like, literally, then he was just... He was just completely fucked up, dude. Like, that tore him apart. Sin says, the beauty of art is the emotional investment by the audience. Yeah, I agree with you. Not sure what these are, but I'm throwing some at you. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know what those are either. <laughs> Can somebody tell me? Just the guy says, wow, I was expecting more police trouble or something. What I'm concerned about right now is that... I'm out of title screen, it says new game, load game. I guess new? Is it going to start me over from the beginning? Hold on, let's try it. Yeah, we got rid of that. We got rid of the, uh, we got rid of that little sm smear. <sighs> okay, this is probably, that was probably all like the, the, what do you call it? The, the opening? The pro prologue? Prologue. Thank you. Prologue. Alright, it stopped raining, so I'm gonna uh, take my headset off real quick because it's not wireless anymore. And I'm gonna close the door. Hold on. Hang tight. Enjoy the cutscene.
Dude, that guy, I don't know if it was M. Mikowski or R. Mikowski, he watched, he watched and commented on my Cat Lady series as it was going. Like, every couple of videos, he'd drop a comment. And I'm like, this is amazing. This is the creator. And he's taking the time to watch my discussion and interpretation of his game. It was a real honor, actually. I, I felt, I felt really good. He, I think he liked it. Just the guy. Thank you for answering that. Dang, it's cold. Oh, I need some more coffee. Well, here we are. So they're in their twenties, they said? It's like they're saying, welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, <laughs> would we? It sure looks better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? So, you're still not talking to me. Come on, darling, don't do this to me. Uh, shoot. I don't know the context. I don't know the context of the situation. Hold on. Ah! This. Uh, let's be nice. Come on, darling. I'm gonna choose the nice option. Don't do this to me. I understand you've been stressed. So have I, but but it's time to let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. So please, I'm giving you this silent treatment. We can start again here. We will start again here. What have I done? Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? Yeah, fuck that. You should be more concerned about your relationship with your wife than what it looks like to people on the outside, alright? And I like that they're at least giving us the option. I don't know. I don't know if this says something about the personality he has. So you can actually say this to reflect the personality he has, or this is an optional personality that you can contribute to him, that you can attribute to him. So, I don't know, I'm not sure if our dialogue, uh, our dialogue options are reflecting who he actually is right now, or we're, we're, we are building his character while, while selecting his answers. So. Just in case, I'm going to hope that this is just here in case the audience wants to make him an asshole. And I don't. Oh, Ark's taken off! Wait, Ark! Shit, wasn't looking at chat. Ark's going out to eat. Don't think the stream will work right, so I'm going to head out. Alright, Ark, thanks for hanging out with us, really. This is always good to see you. Hope you heard me. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. <sighs> See? He started off well enough. He started off well enough, but uh, then it then it all came back to me. Me, 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 me. So he does seem a, a very selfish kind of guy. Um, okay. I've been streaming for just slightly over an hour. Uh, I would like to take a very short, like, five-minute break, if that's okay with you guys. I just want to get some fresh, hot coffee and uh, use the bathroom and, like, maybe a snack. Just, like, a granola bar or something. So, um... Yeah, like, just give me five minutes for a little stand-up break. 
and uh, I'll be back very shortly, okay? Hang tight. Thanks. Okay guys, I'm back. I just need a short little break to re 
energize myself or walking around because sitting sitting for too long you know they recommend that you move around every so often all right oh the sound shit it's because i tapped out oh no oh no is it gonna break please don't break oh shit i need to tap out again don't break please don't break shit fuck it broke fuck you know what just bring it right back up hopefully i'll just start off exactly where i was before damn it like this game cannot take being tapped out English load give me a loading screen wait can you uh, load <gasps> you're fucking kidding me God damn it. Oh man. Jesus. What? God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna go as fast as I can through these, but we must pick all exactly the same. Same. Do you like them? Wow. No. See. Ah, oh, God! And I have Here, to see the cutscene again. No. Let them grow. Come on. Oh, okay, girls. You're right. Okay. Okay. Maybe Space bar. Let's go. Shit. All right. This won't take too long. I hope. Sorry. Like this. Yep. Okay. We're gonna go quickly through this again, really, really quickly. I'm gonna skip all the dialogue. I'm gonna make exactly the same choices, and we'll get back to where we st where we were a second ago. God, I must remember, chat. I dub it your responsibility to remind me to autosave or to autosave to um uh to save save whatever quick save. Don't let it bite you. Gosh. Aww. Your turn. Huh? Come here. Okay. What? Holy shit, that didn't happen last time. That cat. That cat just cats don't really like What? We did exactly the same thing. I'll tell my black cat to go easy on it. I mean... The cat ran away this time, guys. Oh, shit. The, the black cat ran away this time. Last time it really liked it's us, and we Brady. picked the same stuff. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Yeah, 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 I Brady ice cream. Construction zone... Yay, now we get to be total assholes and just really, really pressure her into having some can uh, having some ice cream. Hey, Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do? Do, 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 do. Raspberry. Hey, oh, you uh, why not? Alright, skip, 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 skip. Does it, though? It can't. It can't, because I'm real... <laughs> It really bothers me. Uh, it really bothers me that it changed Don't because I was very happy cream. that the cat liked I me. It's. <laughs> uh, it's uh, she'll have, have ch I uh, changed that. I don't know why. Chocolate. Nothing's gonna change I probably. No. Yeah, no. that's right. 
And she stuck her tongue out at him. Hey, little girl, would you like some ice cream? You really want some ice cream, little girl? You really want some ice cream? <laughs> Alright. Going after her. Damn! I do not need to see what the, the construction site thing again. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Poor I thing. It's okay. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Boom. That's how you know it's all better. Right. This guy. I uh, he's my little he's brother. They don't listen to him. He's an idiot. And it's just wow. Uh. How? Uh, okay, okay, leave the right. Sorry. We'll be back there in no time. Just the guy says forcing someone food who is clearly uncomfortable with it. Yeah, isn't that a douchey thing to do? I'm just gonna call you guy for short. I'll call you guy. Here we are. It's there. <sighs> uh, all right, I just, I just, uh, quick saved. Just in case of anything. Damn it! Yeah, I'm pretty uncomfortable doing this again. Yeah. See the knowing the outcome. X marks this place. Uh, we need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Go out, out. Just hide in chat. Get ready to look away. Hey, I think I found what we <sighs> Oh, guys, guys, guys! Now I have a chance to uh Now I have a chance to use what what you said to beg him. We'll see if it has any effect. Maybe it does. New item added. Okay. Let's see. How do I do this again? You ride up next to it, and then you Examine it, I think, and then you go s down there. That. And use. Alright, we're gonna. It might be a false choice, but hopefully not. I mean, at least we'll know, because oh, curiosity shit. eats away at me. What is it? Step away. Both yeah. of you. It's grenades. A great bowl of freaking grenades. God damn. There is, I bet. Don't, why would they hide? I don't know. Maybe it's. They should. Yeah, let's get. <sighs> Alright. Walls up, everyone! Flash shields up! Oh, God. Come Flash on, Robbie. Up. That's a terrible pun. Hey, is my moderator in here? No. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, guy. That it's a plot heavy. It's a plot heavy event, so I don't think there's a choice. Um. What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? <sighs> Don't even think about it. Oh, my moderator is here. I'm going okay, to cool. Sell it. <laughs> Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. Uh, I'll never forgive you for this. You guys wanted me to do the begging, right? Okay. I was just I was just thinking like that's the kind of joke that my moderator yeah. would have made is That's the kind of joke my moderator would have made like some some really dark joke like related to the fact that he got blown up by a grenade flash shields up Shit, man. Shit. The animation of him blowing up is just fucking wild. That is crazy. God damn. You missed it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I hope you didn't miss that uh, little explosion thing. That's right up your alley. Alright. 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 We're skipping. Come on. Skippage. 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 
Now it's raining because someone died. We met again. Okay, I gotta pay more attention to this. Away, I knew it was her. That same smile. She didn't remember me. It was probably better. The chemistry was instant. I never talked about her. We were happy to But I knew. He knew how to fix it, guys. Do you do you believe him? Do you believe him? Do you? Do you believe that he knows? Shit, I guess start new game, I guess. Sometimes it's on, always. Quick save, yes! I do love the slowdown effect beforehand, just the explosion itself, however, I don't like that much, yeah. That, uh... Whatever you call it, the, the artwork or the drawing or the animation of that is, is just crazy. Yeah, 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 come on. I can't skip this. Can I? No. Can't. Quick save, yes. Quick well, save. Here we are. Oh, I can't quick save at the moment. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying. Ooh. I don't think I can quick save during a dialogue either. <laughs> anyway. Fuck, really? Aha! Aha! Okay. Let's get back to where we were. I'm just gonna ignore this setback. This. So have I, but. So have I, I but. Let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. So please, let me give you this silent treatment. We can start again here. We will start again here. Yeah, I really disagree uh, with the silent treatment as a, a weapon in um, like relationship arguments. I'm very against the silent treatment. I think that it's... What have I done? Okay. I think that it's... Uh, bah, 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 bah. What, what would you call it? Um... Uh, it's not helpful. Uh, it's actually destructive, in my opinion. Giving somebody the silent treatment, it's not... It's not helpful whatsoever. You're I not done? talking about the issue, you're... you're driving, and then you went to sleep for a while. At least he's willing to talk about Dude, the thing that he did. He's asking, what did I do I to make you mad at I'd me? I'd like to know if that's okay. And you the know, I'm trying my best here. So can you please just cut it out and talk to me? Cut it out and talk to me? Long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I'm tired, and I really don't need this, and cut this out is really, like, dismissive of whatever's going on with her. Whatever's going on in her mind, it's saying, this is not important, just knock it off already. Super dismissive of whatever she's mad about. It's, uh, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just knock it off already, you know? Like, uh, like if a little kid's crying and they're crying about an actual legitimate reason, all right? Like, 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 for instance, parents are fighting, right? And the little kid is crying because their parents are fighting, right? They're screaming at each other and everything. And then one of the parents looks over to the kid who's crying and making a lot of noise and just kind of maybe adding to the tension of the scene. And, and one of the angry parents looks over and goes, knock it off already. What are you crying about? And that's basically... Like, you j just stop it. You're doing this for nothing. You have no reason to be feeling what you're feeling and blah, blah, blah. And as we all know that, I mean, in that case, it's very traumatizing for a child because both of their parents are fighting. They're acting really, really angry. Kids are supposed to feel safe and secure around their parents. And it's really messed up to for a, for a child to see the, um, it's really, really, oh shit, what am I saying? Uh, traumatizing to a child to see the two parents who are supposed to provide security and be the very first uh, examples and role models of a loving uh, a healthy relationship treating each other with anger and hatred and violent words and so kid feels super scared he's, he's not in a safe environment but then the child is saying that the parent is saying, "Oh, stop crying! What are you crying about?" And dis dismissing his emotions. So that's kind of what I'm feeling like he's doing. 
jo Joe was doing. Can we... Oh, Jesus. And now my two other things is, can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? Or I give up, let's book us in. I'm not getting... I think that this is the douchier option to go with because it's like, ugh, gotta keep up the facade and, um, you know, don't do anything to for other people to know what's going on. Like that facade means more to what's going on between us, and it's not. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Okay, so it's a hotel. You hear that? Thunder. The storm is gonna be huge. Yeah, the current storm here is currently huge. Alright, let me quickly... Ooh, atmosphere. Communication is key, said Sins of Science, though sometimes it can lead to people talking about topics instead of issues. Two people re repressing trauma for however many years, not exactly a recipe for happily ever after, right? Guy says, yeah, both sides seems very destructive, one ignoring the issue and the other is dismissing it, and Sin says it's also a dig at her. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can check in. Nobody here, it's hardly surprising this time of night. Ding! Hello? Let's call for assistance. Is anybody there? <sighs> Do you like uh, the, uh, I don't know what it is, mold or like decomposing paint running down the side of this counter? Jesus. So, nobody's here. But, 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 yeah, nobody's here. Okay. Let's just walk around a bit. This does not, I doubt this passes regulations. There's nothing unusual about it. About what? Oh, the telephone. I don't know who I would call. Lift. Wait, where did Ivy go? We're gonna try to fix this relationship, guys. It's gonna be you and me. We're gonna fix it. Painting. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a cat! It's a black cat! We had a black cat once. <gasps> they did! They actually fulfilled her dream? I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. What? What? She told Ivy that, wait, he said we had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, this marriage, Sin says now he's lying to her. This marriage is doomed already. Um... So is he saying that like he lied to her about having a black cat when they when he was younger? Or he and Ivy had a black cat together, something happened to it, and he told her that he buried it in the something. Jesus Christ. It reads Teacup, the keymaster. What is what do you mean free gift? I don't know what we're looking at. Is it quote unquote free? Or is it legitimately a free gift? These are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Alright. We should kind of consider it. What? She's Ivy? Moving Where away. are you going? Damn. Well, let's see what we can do about the lift. I bet you it's broken. Yep. Lift seems to be out of order. Okay, so we have a lot of damage along all of the walls. We have some super creepy paintings. A uh, cat painting. I didn't miss anything. There, did I? Stairs. No, I, we're gonna go after Ivy. I don't wanna... I don't wanna just leave her. Oh, now you auto-save. Thanks. Kitchen door. No, let's... We gotta talk to Ivy. Come on, we're gonna... Ivy matters. We're gonna... We're gonna try to appeal to her. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, you've got your voice back. Oh, come on, don't be a dick. Not even rats would come through a place like this. All right, well, let's be a. Uh, let's try to what understand her. Supposed to mean. You are not alone, Joe. You are watching us. Who? Oh no. These bad people. They live in the mirrors. Oh my gosh. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. She developed a mental illness. I've gone now. I mean, but soon they will return. Jeez, oh my gosh, oh man, oh no. I don't know if she was like this, like,
before we just started in this hotel, but... I mean, it seemed pretty obvious she was going to have some mental health problems, but she may have some pretty serious ones if, like, those are her thoughts. Will you just look at this disgusting dialogue option? It's fucking disgusting. I knew you'd ruin it. You always ruin everything. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you? Okay, this is the better of the two, I guess. No, you need, you need to care about her. What the you hell know what? are you talking about? No. Can you really not see them? Or you can, um, what do you call it, uh, patronize her and say, yeah, sure. No, I can't. If you would counteract your tendency, your divine intelligence says the word. Psychosis? No! Psychosis! Oh. He's gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. I did that fresh eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Jesus, what happened to her? This is crazy. We need to get you to a Dr. Ivy or you're acting like a fucking psycho. <sighs> Dialogue options are uh, pissing me off. I mean, you shouldn't say this is crazy to her because to her it's not crazy. You're just like provoking this her even more, crazy. but... Saying we need to get you to a doctor we is appropriate. Need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I, I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm, and that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. Yeah, you losing your goddamn mind for one. Jesus. We'll be fine, trust me. Uh. So he seems really surprised at her behavior, so this must be new. We'll be fine, trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. Now get to our room. Get pull yourself safe. together. Hmm. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Oh, dismissive. Wonderful. All right, let's check out the kitchen. Everything's super dilapidated, but no surprise there because everything in the cat lady pretty much was also with uh, a lot of like muted dark gray scale colors, right? No coloration in anything. Hello. Holy shit. Can I help you? Other than like the little red ribbon on her on Ivy's skirt, and now like what a little red spot on on that chick's belt. We'd like to get a room. We have a little problem. My wife, she she what? What are you What are you gonna say? Are you trying to be like an asshole, or are you trying to? S I don't I don't understand what this one implicates. Like what I what is this one going to do? Um, I guess just we'd like to get a room. We probably shouldn't be talking about a talking to absolute strangers about our problems just yet. You'd like to get a room? Ah, see, of course. Who's like not in a position to do anything about it? Very lucky. <laughs> yeah, have right. One room left. Yeah, right. Seaside view, recently refurbished and sweet bathrooms. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. Jesus. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. <sighs> Fucking liar. Excuse me. I'm sorry, we've had a long trip. My uh my wife's very tired. I guess that's better of the two. Please ignore her. That I don't know. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. <laughs> yeah, like I understand. Room. I'm afraid there is one problem. 
Can what is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? Um... I want to say no, not really, because it'll show that we care about closeness and intimacy with our wife. No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. In a seaside town like this, I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar, too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. How does she know my name? One. You'll be much safer in Quiet Haven tonight. Yeah. Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, don't worry, Sin. I'm uh I'm paying attention to those red um those red things too. Anything red. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. I hope you don't mind. She did. No, she Most didn't. Certainly. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. <sighs> no other option. It's, it's fine, fine, I guess. I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. So this hotel definitely has a dirty little secret. <laughs> definitely. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. Mm. no. Not the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Don't tell me not to be late. I'll, I'll come for breakfast if I want to. I'll just take the key. I don't like this woman. There's something dark and oh, sinister and about her. What is it? Can it really not wait until tomorrow? Oh, let's not be an asshole. Just for the sake of being an what asshole. There's a lady staying in room 102. Right next to you. Uh -huh. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Oh dear. That's tantalizing. Uh, We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you... Huh. We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you mean. It's not my fault your walls are paper thin. Kind of a has a but point. I'm going straight to bed anyway, so yeah. I really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Oh, I need to know uh I I need to know about that lady next door now. Come on, Ivy. We're gonna get you some rest. We're gonna get you some well, I was gonna say get you some cuddles, but two two twin rooms. Or two twin beds. Oh, an elephant. Cellar door. Oh, cellar door. I knew it was locked. Uh, let's try our key. It, I should probably use it to unlock the door. Well, so yes, do so. It's the key to our room. Cellar door, blah, blah, blah. Ah! Aha! What? Come on now. What are you playing at? Okay. So let's go down. No, up. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't. I just just get out of it. All right. No, nope. fucking get out of it. Ah, <sighs> go up. That painting two face of two faces bothers you. Yeah, it's very unsettling. Multiple was it multiple faces and multiple eyes, or was that a different one I was looking at? Okay, room one and one o four. Why is this barricaded? Holy shit! Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. What's over yonder? Pictures of, what, families and stuff? Like, really old portraits. Are those just people who have visited, or what? Very strange kind of pictures to be hung up in a... Saved! It's saved! Something's gonna happen! What is this direct in this direction? Whoa! I gotta s Whoa! <laughs> Did you see it? Do you see it light up that painting? That was pretty good. What is this? It's a mirror. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. Ooh, haunted, spooky, spooky, haunted hotel. Uh, I want to examine it when the lightning strikes. Just to see. 
peeling paint, peeling ceiling. Jesus, what happened to that ceiling? Maybe I can't. Can I not look at this painting? I really want to. I love this shit. It's so good. So good. Well, I guess we're just gonna go to our um, go to our room, and I'm then I'm gonna cut it off there because I've been going for about an hour and forty minutes. I forgot which room we were, and I would also probably do this anyway. So apparently, we're not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. Enter the doors. <laughs> Another strange picture. Examine. 101. It's our room. That's okay. There's only two rooms on this floor? How inefficient. Yeah, yeah, Sin says, how has this place not been condemned? I agree. I should unlock it first. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's trying to teach me how to use this, but... Actually, I want to... It's a fridge magnet advertising. Black cat seems to be a theme here. Okay. I'm sure that's not a coincidence. Enter... Okay, how do I... Son of a bitch. Tab down. Go down and then le left ways. God damn, I don't know how to open up my inventory. Why did it work that time? Whatever. Key, use. I'm gonna get inside the room and we're gonna get some sleep. Oh wow. Hey, there's plenty of room for two of you in What's one bed. To me, Joe? Just for some I know some couple minutes of cuddles. For a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now I don't even know who I am anymore. You said some really weird things. Maybe you're just tired. I hope you had fun playing psycho bitch in front of that woman. Maybe you're just tired? That's too dismissive. Let's just be honest, actually. Hopefully we're saying this in an honest way and not an accusational put-down way. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How the hell should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now, as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think. Um... I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there. In the mirror. She was so fat. And naked. And covered in... Blood. Gross. I don't know what to do. I'm sure you'll feel better in the morning. I don't want to say that. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you. And the next... You're someone different. I don't even know. What if that yeah. person has always been in me? And you... You didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You mean I guess. Uh... Please don't do this not tonight. See if he's... I don't know. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons I do. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And that you always survive for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Let's Let start. You look so cute in my Minerva sh my Nirvana t-shirt. Nah. Uh, I like this one the best. Uh, I can either say, I never get tired of talking to you. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. I miss you even after a couple hours. Um, so I just want to say at this point, like when you realize something, somebody, somebody's just really, really struggling. The average person is not equipped to handle this. 
they may want to, but they, they just don't know how. I'm not saying that they shouldn't. I'm not even, I'm definitely not saying that they, that they should just walk away from a relationship and be like, oh, well, shit, I wasn't equipped to handle that kind of relationship. Absolutely not. Um, because those people are people and they need love probably more than the next person or any other person, regular people. But what she does need is professional help. And there's absolutely no shame in that. I don't think there should be any shame in that whatsoever. Um, sometimes it's nature, sometimes it's nurture. I know that a lot of Ivy's problems were probably nurture from the little glimpse we had of her as a little girl. But, um, but see, Joe is clearly not capable of um, giving Ivy what she needs in terms of making her feel loved. She's got a lot of issues going on. And uh, Joe doesn't know how to say the right thing. But, I mean, here's a start. This is a, this is a good thing. He didn't have to uh, go about it so begrudgingly, listing off the reasons why she's worthy of love. But I hope we'll do it um, non-facetiously. I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. Wait, what was that last bit he threw in there? I feel like the happiest person alive. And then did he say, and this? Sin says uh, she absolutely needs a lot of extensive testing to see what's affecting her. It could be psychological or neurological. But yeah, Joe is totally ill-equipped to handle it beyond getting her to proper professionals. Absolutely. Agree with you there. It's the way you look when you sleep. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. That thing you do when you laugh. I love it. I can smell your perfume on the pillow long after you've gone. Um... These are these are kind of nice. Some of them are a little bit more superficial than others. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. But most of all, I guess. Well. We've been through so much together. Nope. I can be myself around you. You're just so fucking beautiful. Uh, that's superficial. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. I can be myself around you. Or yeah, I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. This is a little bit more selfish, and this is more us, right? So, like, he loves her because he can be himself around it. I, I mean, that's a good one, but I like I this one better. Imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Oh, and you this. Oh, he said, oh, and this. I like my smile. I can't even remember the last time I smiled. And when was the last time you held me in your arms? I can't remember. I'm Oof. sure neither can you. Oof. Finally, you want to be with me forever. I know. I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put Maybe I lost it. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Shit. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday. It's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. Uh, fine, I'll say it. We're finished? Uh, no. I still love you. What did he mean by that, Sins, when he said, oh, and this? Was he being, like, facetious about, like, this, as in, like, oh, and I love this? this kind of situ uh this kind of conversation every time we have one not really sure i still love you no that's the thing you don't you have to understand that joe whatever that was between us it's gone ivy i'm done talking go to sleep and leave me alone what about you go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. Silent Hill. <laughs> My escape. My quiet haven. Come 
on, I gotta save. Go to save. Alright guys, we're gonna call it here. I've been streaming for just shy of two hours and I think that's pretty good. Really, really liking the game. And uh, uh, I will try to be streaming this again uh, fairly soon. So thanks everybody for joining, everybody who did join. I'll see you later. Guy, Sin, take care of yourself. And I will see you next time.